If you like to grow your traffic, watch this video because I'm going to share one amazing Chrome add-on that will help you to use your Google Search Console data and help you increase the traffic of your existing blogs. So without further delay, let's watch this video till the end and learn something interesting. Hi everyone, my name is Harsh Agarwal and I'm from Shoutloud and from last 14 years we have been teaching you everything about search engine optimization and affiliate marketing. Now in this video I'm going to show you how you can quickly identify which keyword is driving traffic to your pages, internal pages and what else can you do using AI and other technique to improve the ranking. So without further delay, let's go ahead, let's do a deep dive. All right, so the tool that I'm talking about is called Query Hunter. Now Query Hunter is available as a WordPress plugin and also available as a Chrome extension. Now I'm using the Chrome extension part and what this tool does is it uses your Google Search Console data to show you on your website like which keyword is driving traffic, which keyword is not working for you. So to give you an example, right, like I've already signed up for Query Hunter and I've taken a three site subscription. And once you link it with your Google Search Console data, you can decide which two or three website where you want to activate this plugin. Now you can, you can also buy a single site subscription depending on the number of sites you have, you can use Query Hunter. So here I have Query Hunter Chrome add-on and this is one of my pages where I have already linked it with Query Hunter. Now all I need to do is click on this link and it would show me all the keyword that is driving traffic to this particular page. So in this case, I can see this particular query, cheap WordPress hosting is ranking at position number 12. The CTR is 0.45% and then this is the impression and this is the click. Now imagine once I have this data and I know what if I could improve the traffic, improve the position by two or three, I'll be on the first page and that will do magic for this particular post. Now, so this is the first part. Now I have to figure out how I can increase the position for this particular keyword. So I can do a lot of things. I can build more internal links. I can also work on building some external backlink for this particular keyword or probably optimize this particular blog post for this keyword. Now in this case, like I already have enough keyword density for this post, but I can look at other ways I can do the improvement. So I'll talk about that in a moment, but before that, let's look at other option of Query Hunter. So now no mention is something very interesting, right? Like, so here you can see that if you sort it based on the position, so these are the position, but then the impression is pretty low. So we don't really want that. Uh, now this is where I'm looking at, right? So this one has position number nine and this keyword is not mentioned in my article, right? And it is getting a significant CTR. Now I can probably add this particular keyword as it is, figure out a way of tweaking my article and add this particular keyword or optimize my existing article for this keyword and some other keyword which is already driving traffic, but they are not mentioned in the article. Hopefully, most likely that is going to increase the traffic. But that is not all. There are many more things about Query Hunter that made me fall in love with this tool. So. Now we can, if we can also identify the article with low CTR. So, you know, in this case, the impressions are high, but then the CTR is low. For example, this affordable hosting, which is at 39 position is very much relevant to this particular article. Now I can start increasing the mention of this particular keyword and may monitor it to see some changes. Similarly, this page two is where the low hanging fruits are, right? Like your certain keywords, which are on the page two, if you move it to the page one by the technique that I mentioned earlier, by improving your content, by increasing your internal links, or also building more backlink to your article, right? Like, so the moment you do that quickly, your article, your traffic would increase to this post and depending on how you're monetizing by AdSense, by ads or by affiliate or by your own product, you can increase your revenue. But that's not all. There is one more thing. And this last thing is perhaps one of my favorite feature of Query Hunter. So you can click on questions and you can find the question, which is, so let's sort it based on the impression. So particularly this is one query, which is probably shown as a search query or maybe as a FAQ that I'm not sure. But now this particular query is driving traffic to this particular page. Now what I can do is I can create a FAQ. I can use FAQ schema, which is available on all SEO WordPress plugin, or if you're using, you know, uh, something outside WordPress, you can still use it. So I can add this as FAQ schema and add the answer. Now, often, if you want to do it at scale, you might want to take help of AI. So what I can do is I can simply click on Genie, right? And here, 
I can select sentence, paragraph, section and snippet. So I want snippet. And what it will do is it will suggest me this, uh, this content is now written by AI. Of course, I'm not recommending that you copy paste as it is, but you can always take help and then optimize and make changes to the content generated by AI and add this particular question and answer as a FAQ schema or often as a question snippet. Now, depending on your requirement, you can do either of that and that's it. Like, you know, you can start improving your article significantly. Of course, this is a lot of manual process, but the best part, what Query Hunter is doing is it is actually taking the real data from Google Search Console. Now, understand that when you're using any third party tool like SEMrush or Ahrefs, they, this tool is not using the actual data that is from your Google Search Console. They are basically collecting data from all, all over the places and based on that, they are creating a volume profile. But here, whatever data that you are seeing, this is the actual data that your website is receiving thanks to the Google Search Console, which is actually Google product. Now, the Genie product AI writing tool is definitely cool. And probably this is what really justify the price of this tool because $120 for a year, that's $40 per site is not cheap. Of course, you can always go for single website if you're running one website. Now, earlier they launched the WordPress plugin, but since they realized a lot of people are using other platforms, they also launched the Chrome extension. And I really like the idea of Chrome extension. So before this, I was using something called seotesting.com and I've already made a video on SEO testing. It also uses the, make sense out of your Google search console data. And I highly recommend this tool. You can watch this video to understand how I'm using it. But unfortunately, SEO testing does not have a Chrome extension. I've reached out to them and suggested them to launch their own Chrome extension, which would be really wonderful. But for now, like Query Hunter is one really amazing tool that you can use. It will work with the website that you have linked with your Query Hunter. Uh, you have to link it with your Google account and then it, you need to select the website for which you want to activate. Query Hunter, Chrome add-on or WordPress plugin in that case. Now, another thing what you can do is like, you know, let's say you are somebody who just started doing SEO, right? And you don't know uh, how to move ahead with the optimization. So what you can do is like, once you identify the keyword that is driving traffic, you can simply go to Fras, which is actually a content optimization platform. There are many others, by the way, but Fras is what I really find very useful for content brief and often for content optimization. What you can do is you can simply copy the URL, right? Like here. Here you put the error and let's say I want to optimize it for affordable hosting. Select the country for which you want to target. Now, this is also very useful if you want to know, like, you know, uh, if you already have data from your Google Analytics or Google Search Console, you can optimize your article for a particular country, right? Like, and then you can select the website, select the language and click on create document, right? When you do that, what this tool will do is it will import the content from your existing URL and it will also scan the top 10 or top 20 result from Google search. So let me show you with an example, right? Like it did not pull up my title. So let me do that. Okay. I can do some more cleaning, but let's just stick with the default so that I can quickly show you. So it will process the top 20 Google result. Now this is where what I find very interesting. What it will do is it will scan the top 20 result Based on that, it will compare your article. It will suggest how many words that you should have in your article. What are the other common keywords used by this top 20 result? So maybe five of them are using certain keyword that you are not using. And once you start implementing those keywords in your article, you will actually see that your uh, ranking is improving. But of course, do not like just simply sprinkle those keywords just like that. Like make it meaningful. Otherwise it will all be waste, you know? So this is it now. You Let's say you go to the optimize content and and here you can see like some of them have used unlimited storage and about 10 sources have used this keyword unlimited storage and they have used it three times on an average. Now I have used this keyword zero time, right? Similarly, uptime guarantee again, zero time and affordable plan. Like, so now you have certain keywords which are like very key keywords for a particular keyword that you're trying to optimize, you can quickly identify. And this is not something it's guessing. It's actually using the existing data from the existing website, which are ranking for your target keyword. So it makes your life way easier. And perhaps if you're not using a content optimization tool, you should start using it because then you would see the magic of SEO and optimization in no time. Similarly, you can also go to let's say no research and you can see that my article is about 1.9 K. 
an average search result article word count is 5000 okay i don't know if i can really reach there but point is like you know now i can see there is a lot of gap right so i if i really want to rank then i should need to improve the number of words and this is perhaps something i don't really like about how the google is evolving but well you have to play by the rules and you know like this is what what it's working now it also shows the featured snippet so you can try to optimize your article for featured snippet then you can see you can find like all this other data like how what is the average number of images in the search result average number of links i'm not sure what this link is but sure let's move ahead with this and then you can also see the outline of the other article now this is very interesting like if you are writing and optimizing your article there are chances that whatever you are doing from your understanding and when you look at the other search result it gives you a lot of new ideas and my process is usually i create a content brief mostly using fras and then start writing it just simplifies the process by great degree well this is all for today i will leave the link of everything in the description but do check out my other videos i've already talked about fras before i've already talked about seo testing before and once you watch this video you know one by one it will help you to improve your knowledge and overall improve your seo process now you can use any of the tool it doesn't matter right like the tool that i'm recommending or the tool that you are discovering but once you understand what this tool does and how to use it properly it will just save you a lot of time plus it will give you more bucks for the effort and time that you are putting writing your content because if you are writing content and they're not ranking perhaps you are missing out on something and this is what we talk about on this channel if you like this video do like and subscribe to our channel i'll see you in the next video bye bye